<laughs> right now, though, it's time for a news round press pack report. Lizo takes up the story. She's one of the most popular authors in the world. Whenever she makes a rare appearance, thousands turn up to see her. She's still busy writing Harry Potter book five, but agreed to give a very special interview to a Newsround press packer, 10-year-old Victor Greenstreet, the only TV interview she's given to a journalist anywhere in the world. Can you tell me where and when Quidditch was invented? Quidditch um, started in the 11th century um, at a place called Queerditch Marsh, which you probably won't find marked on maps, but obviously that's because wizards have made the place unplottable, which means you can't plot it on a map. They started off with only one ball, the quaffle, which is the ball you use for goal scoring. And then there was the addition of the bludgers, just to make things a bit more interesting. And finally, you got the golden snitch. How many beasts are there in Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Um, there are 75, but that's not including the 10 different species of dragon. What is the most dangerous beast? Well, dragons, you don't want to mess with a dragon, obviously. Um, and then you have things like Acromantula, which Harry has already met in book two, but he didn't know it was an Acromantula when he met it. You're giving the money raised to Comic Relief in mm -hmm. the UK. What will they do with it? Um, well, the books are going to be sold all around the world. Um, the money that's raised in the UK will be used partly to fund projects in the UK and partly to fund projects in Africa, the poorest parts of Africa. So tell me, what's it like to interview someone like J.K. Rowling? Well, it was really fantastic. I'm a gigantic fan of all the Harry Potter books, and I've got them all so far, and it was really fantastic just to see the author. With a Harry Potter film due out in November, Pottermania is still growing. It's hoped that these two books will keep fans happy until Harry's next adventure appears in bookshops next year, and more importantly, they could raise up to £20 million for comic relief charity work. That was Victor talking to J.K. Rowling about the wizard Harry Potter.